This is a guide to sorting out the common sickle cell syndromes. The major globin genes are on chromosomes 11 and 16. The alpha genes are on chromosome 16, and the gamma, delta, and beta genes are on chromosome 11. Two alpha globins and two gamma globins combine to form the fetal hemoglobin, or hemoglobin F tetramer. Two alpha globins and two delta globins combine to form the hemoglobin A2 tetramer, and two alpha globins and two beta globins combine to form the hemoglobin A tetramer. In the normal adult, we typically find that more than 95% of the hemoglobin consists of hemoglobin A, with very minor contributions from hemoglobins A2 and F. In order to quantify these hemoglobins, they must be separated by electrophoretic or chromatographic methods. In sickle trait, AS, one beta globin gene is normal, and the other carries the sickle point mutation. Four hemoglobins are produced, small amounts of hemoglobins F and A2, with the balance being made up of hemoglobins A and S. Because electrostatic interactions between alpha and beta globins favor their pairing to normal beta A over beta S, there is usually slightly more hemoglobin A than S. Individuals with sickle trait have no significant morbidity or mortality, and their blood counts and peripheral smears are normal. In SS, homozygous sickle cell anemia, both beta globin genes carry the sickle point mutation. Three hemoglobins are produced, small amounts of hemoglobin A2, variable but somewhat elevated levels of fetal hemoglobin, with the bulk being sickle hemoglobin. These individuals have a fairly severe chronic hemolytic anemia with low hematocrit and elevated reticulocyte count. The spleen is transiently enlarged in children, but not palpable in adults. This is the most severe of all of the sickle cell diseases with the highest rates of vaso-occlusive events. The peripheral smear shows a wide variation in red cell morphology with variable populations of normal looking cells, targets, irreversibly sickled cells, and irregular fragments. In AC, or hemoglobin C trait, one beta globin gene is normal and the other carries the hemoglobin C point mutation. Four hemoglobins are produced, small amounts of hemoglobins F and A2, with the balance made up of hemoglobins A and C which are roughly found in equal amounts. Individuals with hemoglobin C trait have no significant morbidity or mortality. Their blood counts are typically normal, but they do have target cells in the peripheral smear. In SC, or hemoglobin SC disease, one beta globin gene carries the sickle point mutation, and the other carries the hemoglobin C point mutation. Four hemoglobins are produced, small amounts of hemoglobins F and A2, with the balance made up of hemoglobins S and C, which are roughly in equal amounts. Individuals with hemoglobin SC disease have a mild chronic hemolytic anemia with low hematocrit and elevated reticulocyte count, although not as severe as seen in homozygous SS sickle cell anemia. Patients with SC disease have splenomegaly and vaso-occlusive episodes, although not as severe or frequent as what is found in SS. The peripheral smear shows a predominance of targets with rare, irreversibly sickled cells. In beta plus thalassemia trait, one beta globin gene is normal, and the other carries a mutation that decreases its production of otherwise normal beta globin. Three hemoglobins are produced, a small amount of hemoglobin F, a slightly elevated amount of hemoglobin A2, and more than 95% hemoglobin A. Individuals with hemoglobin beta plus thalassemia trait have no significant morbidity or mortality. They do have microcytosis, target forms on the peripheral smear, and rarely splenomegaly. In beta zero thalassemia trait, one beta globin gene is normal, and the other carries a mutation that completely eliminates its production of beta globin. Three hemoglobins are produced, a small amount of hemoglobin F, a slightly elevated amount of hemoglobin A2, and more than 95% hemoglobin A. Just as in beta plus thalassemia trait, individuals with hemoglobin beta zero thalassemia trait have no significant morbidity or mortality. They do have microcytosis, target forms on the peripheral smear, and rarely splenomegaly. In sickle beta zero thalassemia, one beta globin gene carries a mutation that completely eliminates its production of beta globin, 
and the other has the hemoglobin S point mutation. Three hemoglobins are produced. Slightly elevated amounts of hemoglobin A2, variable but somewhat elevated levels of fetal hemoglobin, with the bulk being sickle hemoglobin. Just as in homozygous SS sickle cell anemia, individuals with S beta-0 thalassemia have a fairly severe chronic hemolytic anemia with low hematocrit, elevated reticulocyte count, and severe vasoocclusive morbidity. In fact, it is often difficult to distinguish between patients with sickle cell anemia and sickle beta-0 thalassemia. The clues to differentiate them are the findings of microcytosis, elevated hemoglobin A2, and persistent splenomegaly in the patients with sickle beta-0 thalassemia. The peripheral smears are very similar to those found in homozygous SS sickle cell anemia. In sickle beta plus thalassemia, one beta globin gene carries a mutation that reduces its production of beta globin and the other that has the sickle point mutation. Four hemoglobins are produced. Slightly elevated amounts of hemoglobin A2, variable but somewhat elevated levels of fetal hemoglobin, relatively small amounts of hemoglobin A, and the rest sickle hemoglobin. These individuals have a mild chronic hemolytic anemia with low hematocrit, elevated reticulocyte count, splenomegaly, and minimal vasoocclusive morbidity. The peripheral smear shows target cells with rare irreversibly sickled cells. When looking over all the data on the hemoglobinopathies we have reviewed, it is important to note that only four are associated with any degree of vasoocclusive manifestations and are therefore referred to collectively as sickle cell disease. These include homozygous SS sickle cell anemia, hemoglobin SC disease, S beta zero thalassemia, and S beta plus thalassemia. Of these, SS and S beta zero thalassemia are the most severe, with the others being relatively mild. Sickle cell trait, AS, is not considered one of the sickle cell diseases.